so first thing I need to do a ng serve here to compile my file compile my project It's really slow. Um, okay, so uh, yesterday we made the we made the web we, we finished the profile and also the website list. So uh, this is finished, and uh, if I go to the local host, I should be able to see my web application there. Ninety-two percent, ninety-five. Okay. So um, we already finished the, all the user pages and also the website list. So I should be able to log in with uh, uh, the, the, the credentials we have in our user service. So it's right here in our user service here. I have uh, like Alice, Bob, Charlie, and uh, she, I should be able to log in with any username and password matches this to make this for. So I'm logging with the Alice account. I'm getting the I'm getting her username, her email, her first name and her last name. And I should be able to update it to anything else. Like uh, this one I can update the username to uh and it's two. Just click submit. It's updated successfully. If I log out, I cannot update like log in with Alice anymore. It should be changed to Alice two. Right? And um, also we finished the register. And also the the website list. We can successfully getting uh, Alice's website list here. It's showing like go tic tac toe and the checkers. Those are our website list. And uh, next up, we want to working on website new and website edit. Remember, website new is for us to create a new website, and website edit is for us to edit our current uh, website, one of our current websites. So if I click this plus button here, and this is our website new. It has actually two parts, uh, the left side list and the right side form. So that means um, everything we have in website list, we also need, we also need it in the website new, right? Like the, the, the list part, we still need that list part here. So that means we also, we, all the data we have in website list, we will also need them in website new. So I think we're go we are going to do the, the same thing as we did in website list. And also we want to add a new method here, allows us to submit uh, these changes here. And also we need to you know to, to get, in, get the data, get the input data, like when user type something here, we need to catch that data here. We need to catch that input uh, value here. Okay, uh, we, we did like uh, both of them uh, before in, in other file. Today we will make them in the website new file. So let's go there. Um, go to the components, website, website new. It's right here. All right, that's our website new HTML and the website new components.ts. Um, if we go back to our website list.ts, let's say we have a uh, we, we have the UID to to know which user user it is, and uh, in order to load all the website belongs to him or her, and uh, then we have a uh, websites here. It's it's a uh, variable to store all websites, a real websites. So we will need both of them again in our website new component. So let's put them here. Uh, I can put it. Oops. Put them here. UID and the website is okay. Uh, this one is giving me an error because I haven't uh, import websites from the model. It doesn't really know what is a website, so let's import it. I can just copy it from the website. It's here I will need a website. I will need a website service, and I I think I will need the activity route. Yeah, like the after you submit a change, I will need to um, I will need to 
allows user to navigate ever and navigate the user back to website list, right? When the submission is after the submission is a form, right? I'll navigate them back. So I will still need the activity the route. And I think I will need the route maybe here later. Uh, let's do them one by one. So I just imported the three I have in website list. And in the ng on init, I think I'll do the exactly same thing here. I'm going to get to the parameters and uh uh, in the pre in the URL parameters, I'm getting the UID and I use that UID to get the website list, and then we can display this list in our uh, website list, in the, in the left side of this part. So let me first delete the console log here and uh, activate the route. It's not, uh, it's giving me an error because I need to put them in the constructor like that. Okay. Uh, that should be uh, give me the website's data for that. So I need to go to the website new HTML. Uh, instead of showing like the, this manually input the data, uh, manually input uh, list here, I should do like change it to, to dynamically loading the current user's list. So let's update those router links here. Um, this router link here is uh, left button going back. I need to change this UID here into a double bracket UID. And this UID here, change it to a double bracket UID. Same thing for this one. <coughs> and uh, this is new website, it's just reloading the page. Uh, oops, give it too much. It's UID here. And uh, this is a right nav bar, uh, a plus button, plus button. Oh, no, this is a check button. Check button is for update. Um, for update, this shouldn't have a, uh, it shouldn't have a, like a rotor link here. I need to, you know, change it to in back to a button and uh, use that to, to call the function to update the, the, the whole form. So it's supposed to be... Supposed to be a button. Shouldn't be a link anymore. And um, I should be using a. What, what did, how did I did it in website list? Let me take a look. Uh, it should be website list. Uh, I don't have sub submit button in website list. I have it in profile. Right in profile, we have submit button. I have a check button there. Uh, let's go check it in user profile. I actually have one button here. It's right here. Um, I used uh, some class. I stop the button to A. I use that here again. Uh, it's in here. And uh, I used the type equal to submit. And I gave it a form to it. And I disabled it when the form is invalid. I do the same thing here. So let's paste him here and then uh, change the form name like into a uh, uh, website form, things like that. And uh, uh, I think that's it for this button. And I keep going. Here is the list. The list here, I change this UID into the UID. Actually, I need to, you know, to change this whole thing into a uh, ng4, right? Like that's, that's how we did it in, in the website list. So in the website list, I have ng4 for it. Let me copy that. Use that to replace my current list here. Uh, this one, do that. Paste my ng4 here and uh, make it look better. Right, that's my left part, and then for my right part, uh, I have a form here. The form should have an ID. ID should match the the form here, website form. And I need a few more things here, like a ng submit is equal to the. We need a a function here. We'll create like a create like a, this will create a new. 
a new new website for us. Uh, we'll create this function in our in our uh, TS type script file. Okay, I have a function I create here. I make it later, and um, uh, we have. Uh, I should give a name for it. Should put F is equal to website form. Like that. Okay. And the next thing we want to do is to you now give those input, update those input here. Uh, for the input, I have a class type name, uh, placeholder, and I need an ng model here. It should be uh, the, the name is required, and I have the ng model, and uh, the name of it is like a ng model. Yeah, it's a name. And uh, this one, and then for the for the text area, this is for the description. We just can do the same thing here. So it's another ng model. Uh, the description shouldn't be required. Only the name is required. Like the website, we need to know a name, so we can display it. We can display the name in the in our website list. The description we can make it like an option for the user. It's not required. Uh, so the description. This I just copy that. Cannot type. Description is equals to ng model. All right. Uh, what else do we need? We need to update those two buttons here. Here we have a cancel button. The cancel button just uh, uh, never get us back to the website list. It's fine. And then for the submit button, submit button uh, should change it to a button. And uh, delete the route in here, change the tab equals to submit. Uh, because this button is in the form, so I don't really need to tell him like which form I want to submit. The default one will be submitted is, uh, is uh, the current form he's in. And I still need to disable here. Like I will disable this form when uh, something is, is not uh, valid. So let me take a look how it looks like right now. Uh, my website. Oops, seems like I made some mistake here. F12. Uh, there is no directive with the export as. Uh, things like that. I think that's because I haven't made the 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 form in my TS here. I import the view child. And do the exactly same thing we did before. I need to end the the view child here. At view child, and for the form F, and call it website form, and it's a type of ng form. Have we? Uh, maybe I haven't import. Yeah, I need to import the ng form too. So let me import it here. Import ng form from Angular and Angular forms. All right, save that. Does this fix our error there? Nope. Uh, syntax error. There is no directive with exported as and some energy website form. Form is website form. Um, there is my form. It's here. F is equal to M with the form. What's, uh, what's this error is talking about? Website form, website form, pound F is equal to. Should I make it a website form or NG form? Let me take a look. Uh, profile HTML. 
Or it should be ng form. Yeah, that makes sense. Should be ng form. F is ng form. Yeah, it's working now. And we still have error. Uh, yeah, I, I imported it. Uh, if ng model is used within a form tag, either the name attribute must be set or the form control must be defined as standalone in ng model. Uh, which one is this? Uh, input person the first name. I think that's uh, another file. Seems like. Okay, so uh, the first name, the, 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 the name attribute must be set. So let's go back there to to set it. I think it's in my profile, first name. This one here, the name is equal to first name. I set it. Um, which one is he talking about? Oh, this is just an example. So it should be still <coughs> this one here. Name equal to... A website name, the text area, the text area doesn't have a name, let's just give a name. Name equals to description. Just call it description. Okay, just, uh, it's just kind of like a warning, but I just don't like it to be read. So, okay, fix that. You see, the, the, the right now the, the left side list is showing the correct list I have. Like if I go back, it's go tic tac toe, and if you just plus, it's still tic tac toe. It's the same, same list I have there. Okay, and uh, see this button is disabled, and uh, I need to give a class to that one. Uh, the plus button on the right, it's this one here, a class like a BTN. Make it looks better. Okay, these two are disabled. If I just put something to the name, it enabled. Alright, so it's kind of like that. Okay, um, next up, we need to get those two input fields and uh, be able to call the create website function in our website service in order to create a new website in our website array, right? So let's do that. And I will need a, you know, like kind of a kind of like kind of like an alert when when the name is like already taken, actually, uh, I think a duplicate uh, website name is fine. It's not kind of like a serious issue, like the, the username. But uh, I still want, um, you know, like a, a span there to to tell the user the name cannot be empty. Otherwise, they, they cannot know like why can can I submit this button? Why, why I cannot click this button? I need to tell them like this name cannot be empty. So I can just do a span here. Uh, website in website new. After the name, I can have a span here. Uh, it's kind of like um, showing name can't be empty. And uh, we'll have an ng if here ng if is equal to uh, name dot invalid and uh, name dot to, uh, touched like that. So if we if we go there and uh, leave there, oops, still not showing. I forget the u. Uh, you're right. Yeah, name cannot be empty. You know, you can you can you can use some class here to make it look better, right? They can just use a a, a lot and a lot read to make it like in red color. Uh, class a lot, a lot. Uh, like a info or like a warning here. Let's give me a warning. Let's give them a warning like that. Okay, like that. Oops, they are kind of like a uh, overlap here. Uh, let me add a br here. Give some space here. No, still not good. I think it's 
Yeah, need to figure it out later. Let me just first thing. I don't want to use these two cards right now. Just some style you can just try to figure it out. Maybe you just use a div, it's better than, than, than a span, I think. Okay? I can maybe try to change this to div. Uh, change this to div. And uh, doing a class is equal to alert. And alert warning. Uh, double S. Warning. Like that. Maybe this is better. Yeah, this is better. Name cannot be empty. See, like that. Name can. Okay, cannot be empty. Like that. Cannot. Um, so that's that's all the warnings I need to give the user. Next step is uh, to get in the data. So I need two variables to store the data. And we need uh, one for the name. It's a string. And one for the description. It's another string. And uh, in my create function, I need to start working on that. <coughs> like when user click the button submit, and you firstly get in the, the input they have there. So this the name is equal to this the website form. Uh, the value, the name, getting the name of the input field. This the description is equal to this the website form, the value, the description. Getting those two input fields. Uh, let me console log it, see if that works. Remember, like you always want to use uh, your console log to test your code, see if anything not working. And uh, the, 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 the older you, you find them, like, uh, the easier for you to fix them. Like, uh, if you just do too much hell, too many functions at the same time, and without testing, testing them, you will not be able to find like, where I did it wrong. It takes you like, a, um, two, like a exponential times to find it. Console log, this is the name. Save that. If we successfully get the name data here, this is the most important stuff. Uh, let's save it. Reload this for me. Okay, if I enter a name here, it's called a uh, hello. Submit. Yeah, undefined. I'm not getting it. Yeah, here has comes a problem. I'm not. I'm not getting the name. Um, let's see what's wrong at of this one here. Name is a string is equal to this the web set form the value the name. I'm not getting the name by submitting the form. Oops, I new here. If I, click, if I click this one, still not give me the correct answer. Um, the function is called because uh, I'm actually cancel log something, so the function is linked, but the name field is not in linked. Uh, ng model name. Uh, maybe I need to change this website name into matches with that. Change this to name. Okay, let's try that. Hello. Yeah, I'm getting that. Hello, welcome. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting those two data. Okay, I'm getting the data. So just uh, remember the the name need to match the, the the ng model name. Some kind of confusing the the, the angle, I think. Um, remove the console log, and we can start to working on that function. <laughs> so let's take a look about the function in the website uh, in the website service. The function we want to use is this create website. So it takes a UID and it takes a website, and it will create a uh, a website with uh, this U with this UID equal to the developer ID. So when I call this function, I need to give it a UID and give it the website. So in here, I need to create a web new a website here. Um, and let me create a website like a constant new website. That's just a name for it. It's equal to a website. Oh, I just have a table here. Const 
um, let's say a website need to have a and let me give it a type you you are a website website need to have a um, property ID is missing in type of it so let me give it the ID you cannot just be empty because I will like you can put anything here it doesn't really matter because remember when we call the function uh, create a website we will update its ID into a random random string here so it's just you can just put, give it empty here um, that's for the ID and uh, let me see it's still complaining the name is missing name is equal to exist or name and why what else we need develop ID developer ID Is this how you spell it? Uh, developer ID is equal to just empty. Oh, actually, this check cannot be equal to empty. This should be this the UID. Well, this actually can be empty because when I call the function, I will update it. Uh, and next up is a uh, description. Description, you can make it equals to this the description. Okay, that's our uh, website, and then we can use uh, the function. This the uh, website service. The create website it takes two item. One is a uh, UID. This the uh, UID. Another is uh, a new website, which is this new website. Put it here. Okay, this one will end our website into our uh, array. So let me see if that works. Console the log website service the websites oops should it be that good this one websites the websites or should be this the website service the websites yeah that's correct let me see if that successfully ended for me so for um, I need to add a uh, high here. Description is high. Submit. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm adding the uh, a new new website into the list, and the ID is as uh, a description is high. The 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 name is high. The develop ID is one two three. Yeah, which is uh, Alice, and the ID is a uh, random ID six two nine one nine. It's fine. Yeah. That's what I expect. So I can remove the console log there. The console log, just remove you. I don't need console log anymore. Um, after we, after we create this website, we need to uh, route like a navigate user back to the to to the website list page. So I really need to import the route here. The, remember, the active route just allows us to to parse to 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 find the uh, to the, the URL and then that allows us to to navigate to another page in order to navigate to another page we need to import the the route here so after the active routing route I need to import the router the router is the item allows us to navigate to another page both of them are from the angular router so I can just add it after the active route so oops I cannot go in down the mouse is broken uh so here I just after the create let's navigate him back. So this star router. I uh, haven't adding our router to our uh, constructor here, so it will be a private. Oops, sorry. Private router. It's type of router. Uh, going going down, going back here. This router dot navigate. Navigate to we are going to navigate to the our website page. Uh, what is the URL for the website? Let's take a look. Website list is this one here. Let's copy that. Uh, navigate to this page and change the UID. Kind of like um, we can using, you no. Know, separate them into different item, user, 
is the first item. Then we want this star UID, and uh, we want website. Yeah, like uh, the the Angular will combine the uh, this router function will combine this into one whole stuff. You just need to list list all your uh, items you need here. Like they this will finally co uh, combine this into things like a user. Uh, like like one two three and the website it will come by com change it randomly change this for for us to this one, not randomly just automatically change this to the to this format. Okay, and uh, let's take a look. Try if that works. Let's create one. Um, my block. This is my block. Submit it. See, it's, it's right here. Actually, we say for the end, anyone here, right? Let me try to end another one. My homepage, my personal website, my personal website. Uh, test, test, submit it. See, it's right here. And if one click this one, it's still also showing showing in the list here. That's, that's working. And this is keep console logging something. That means we we'll have some console log in my website list. Let me remove that. I don't want to have that any console log. This kind of giving the user uh, information of how I make my website. I don't want them to know too much about that. Where is that from? Is that this component? Let me restart my sublime. It's kind of bugs there. Uh, where is my? Where is that console log from? Console? No, not here. I don't know. Just uh, I'll find it out this. Okay. So let's say for the website. Uh, let's say for the website new. So all you need to do is you no. Know, to get a list and uh, enable the, the form, make it uh, like functional for the form. And next stuff we want to do is for the what? What? Uh, did I break it? Oh, yeah. I didn't change the cancel button. That's a uh, great fun. Okay, so let's go to the website new. The cancel button here. Okay, let's change this UID. You could choose like a bracket UID like that. Okay, right now if I click cancel, it will keep the one two three for me. Okay, so the website new website new is is made. Like next stuff we want to do is website edit. So for website edit, well we still need to um, know the, the the list on the left. So we'll do the same thing to get the list. And for the right side part. Well, we need to initialize the, the current name and the current description for this website. And uh, we will create the function to allow the user to, uh, to update it. And it also allows the user to delete it. So there will be two functions, one for delete and one for update. Okay? And we will still need the, the, the left side list. Let's do that. Let's go to the website. Edit HTML and TS. Let's do. Um, let's now copy something from website new. We we'll definitely will need those four stuff here. Paste them here. And I think I need also need the view child. And uh, I will need the UID and the website list. So let's copy them here. Um, I think I still need the name and description. And also the view child will be, uh, definitely will be used. Like uh, when we have a form, we're will, we will, we will always using the view child to get our uh, data in the form. And actually, you can if you don't want to use the uh, the child, you can also like uh, remember we can using our like um, event listener, or just you can get um, 
get element by ID, get element by, uh, by, by, by tag name, things like that, you can uh, query selector, all of them should work. But in Angular, we usually use the, the, the Angular function, it's uh, just a real child. So in the constructor, I will need those things. Uh, the things will be needed in my constructor. Okay. Uh, if you feel like this line is kind of too long, you can actually break them into two. It's all up to you. It doesn't really matter. It won't change anything if you just break them into two line. Um, so I will need a few functions. One is to update. And another one is to delete. They will call the corresponding functions in our uh, website service. All right. The first stuff I need to do is to ng uninitialize to get in the the website list. Let's copy that. And I think that's not enough. Like uh, comparing with the ng, uh, comparing with the website new, I will also need to initialize the input field of the of the name and description. So I need to also uh, get in the name and the description here. So I will need to call those functions. Okay, I already have the ID. And uh, I have uh, the list of websites, and I need more things. This the uh, name is equal to uh, this the website service. The actually I can just directly get in the website. So let me create a a a, a, a place to to store our website. Just store our current uh, the website I'm currently editing type of website. I can do that with site. So this the uh, website is equal to this the website service the uh, fight website by ID. And the ID already have it. It's this one here, this the uh, UID. Okay. And finding the website and uh, this the uh, name is equal to uh, this the uh, website the uh, name. And this is the description. It's equal to this dot website dot description dot description. Yeah, I'm getting the both name and description here. Um, then I need to put them into the form and also put them you no know, to change every links here. Like uh, for example, this one UID should be changed into <coughs> uh, double credit UID. Here I have another UID. Change this too. And the same thing for this one. Um, seems like I need more stuff here. Like uh, right now, bar right here, like uh, this button is our current page. Not only the UID. Seems like I also need the. The WID, which is the current ID, so it's um, I, I need a place to store it. I need a place to store the the, the WID string. Um, let me initialize it on my ng. That's ng new. No, sorry, not this one. This is ng new. It should be this file. WID. That's website ID. Website ID it should be equals to this dot WID is equal to this dot website the ID. Yeah, that's my WID. So in here I can just get in the WID here. And this is UID. Is this one really give me the, the ID I want? Let me think about it. Uh, let's not do it this way. I, like I can get it from the, the euro, like a param WID. 
Okay, let's also give me the WID. Did I call it WID in my uh, uh, routing? Uh, in my routing, here like is my website edit. Like uh, if you take a look of a path, we have a UID a UID part and the WID part. Like when I call the params UID, it's just giving me the the value for it, and the uh, param WID is giving me the WID part for it. You can either call params and with a with a bracket here, or you can just call um, like a uh, prime star UID. This is this is also works. Both of them should just just exactly the same thing. I, I think it's just the same. Okay. Just give me that part. Give give you that part for it. And um, let's come back here. Change UID WID UID here. Keep going. Uh, come to the list. Let's delete this list here. And uh, copy the one from the website new. This one here. AI. Copy it here. And come to the form. Now this form. I'll do a copy again, I think. Let's just copy them part to part. Um, the those two parts are necessary. That's uh, that is uh, like the name, the alert, and the description. Let's copy those part first. Let's replace the old one here. Okay, and uh, I need the <coughs> the form tag. The form tag can be stay the same. I shouldn't be create. Should be uh, update when I click the submit button. Should be update. Then after that, I will have two buttons here. One is for delete. Another one is for update. And you sh uh, those two should be uh, managed well. So let's change it to button. Uh, both of them should shouldn't have like a route link. They have some functions there. Like button remove the route link. Okay. For the update, it's easy. Just save save the type in equal to submit. Like uh, when I when, when we submit this, uh, click this update button, it will call the update function for the ng submit. And uh, for the delete button, I can just say, if you click this one, we will call the function uh, delete. Yeah, delete. Okay. Uh, let's. Oh, there's one more button I forget. Like uh, here, I have a check button here. That yeah, check, check this to button. Uh, delete the route link here. Give it class btn and sw uh, button to a. And uh, this one should have a, a type equals to submit. <coughs> and the form is equal to website form. Um, let's test them. Like here, I can just console log update. Uh, let's make a string. Update. Excuse me. Thank you. Cancel lock. Uh, delete. See if that works. Come back here. Okay, that's my exit website page. Click delete.
cancel it cancel out both things this one gave me the correct one but the delete button is cancel out let's say it's cancel both things and I think the reason is because uh, the default type for a button is a uh, submit so Oh, this website news website edit. Let's change the button back to A. Like, uh, like only the button can be submit. The A cannot. So just change it back to A. I think it will fix that. Or you can just give it a another type. So, uh, just click delete. Oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, that's only delete is printed out. Dialed, uh, missing E is fine, just taste. Okay, and uh, uh, it's in the dark color. Um, why in the dark color? I mean, it was in a, in the white one, but I can still use SW uh, text of white. Do I have the text of white in my style CSS? I have a color white, I use this one. Let's just uh, use this stuff to change it to a white color. Oops, still, still black. Um, I should be. Uh, the, the, let me take a look. What? What? What is uh, like previously type is? Uh, like a, a class BTM BTM danger. Was he? Was it? Like a black before. Um, okay, if I remove this, why the how is it like okay, it is black? Oops, it's broken. I break something. Uh, closing tag div. Uh, did I break it? Something. Okay, it's come back. Um, if I remove this function here, change back to A. Is that going to become a black color? Yeah, it does. Um, let me play around with it. Um, actually change a button. Uh, what type do I have for the button? HTML button type. Um, tap submit, tap reset, just button, just change the type to button, it won't do anything, type equals to a button, that should be work. So if I click that, it's only giving me the delete, and this one gave me the update, and this one gave me the update, yeah, uh, it works. So I can delete those console log here. And next up, what we need to do is to uh, make sure the the data is initialized here. So let's test it. Come back here, refresh it. I click. Uh, um, let me think. Are they initialized? Yeah, it should be initialized. Click go. Oh, sorry. I should I click the wrong stuff? Should click here. Uh, it's empty. Uh, should be some data display here. So, okay. Yeah, I guess. Okay, so the ng uh, model here uh, shouldn't be empty here. It should be. Like, remember how we. How we know, know to initialize the data in our profile. So it should be ng model equals to a double bracket. Uh, it should be website.net. And uh, this one here, oops, this one is not name, this should be a uh, description. The one on the top, this one, ng model equals to website the uh, name. Yeah, I'm getting the name and uh, Facebook? This is like, uh, which one is? 890. Let me check if it should be Facebook or not. Uh, service. Website service uh, for the go. It's ninety is not Facebook. Facebook is the first one. Um, 
<coughs> Let me check another one. You're going by developer ID or user ID? Uh, let me check another one. And maybe I'm going to the wrong one. Yes, yeah, so always give me the Facebook. Uh, let me check it. Da, 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 da. So website edit component uh, edit the components. Let me check that. There's the file the website, so it's file website by ID. Yeah, I'm giving the UID to it. it should be WID. So if I test again, yes, yeah, give me the, the, the correct data. This one, yeah, it's just give me the correct data. Let's say that can, because we are using the single page application, like we are not reloading the page, so it's really fast. Like it's like a, when we click it, we click any button here, it just directly give me that page I need. Okay. Um, okay. Right now, I'm getting the data, and uh, then we need to you now finish the function for delete and update. So allow us to delete or update the function to to, to the, the the page. So let's come back to those two functions here. Those are only thing left. Uh, for rem delete, it should be uh, really easy. So it's just this the uh, uh, website service website service. The, we need to call the delete website. And the delete website takes, uh, I forget what that it takes. I think it just takes the ID. Uh, let me take a look. Delete website that takes a uh, website ID. Takes a website ID. So it does need to pass in this uh, WID here, and it will remove, remove this website for us in the array. And we just need to navigate back, router, navigate back to our website. So it will be user, and uh, this the UID uh, shouldn't be like that. It should be just this the UID, and uh, uh, should be array here. So I have multiple stuff here, and uh, the website. That's a URL. That's a pass for the website list. So that's it for the delete. I can try that. So right now we're on the page go. If I delete it, only two pages left. I delete this one, only one left. I delete them one by one. It's empty. But if I refresh it, it just come back. Because we are, you no, know, the the array is not going to be. Uh, the array is always have have those items when we initialize it. But in the future, when we, um, you know, when we when we link to the database and the server to it, we can like uh, successful. I can really uh, mo modify the the initialized data there. Right now, like uh, when you refresh a page, everything just getting back. And we are already like uh, able to delete stuff. And the next thing we need to do is to to make this update button functional. So we do something about update. Okay. Um, so first thing we need to do is getting the the name and the description. The same thing as when we create a new one. Uh, let's cancel log it. Yeah, it works. Yes, yeah, getting the data, getting the, the the name and description, and uh, we can create a new website here. Uh, constant uh, updated web type of website is equals to uh, object as a. Um, let me take a look about our function in our website service update. Um, it takes a WID, takes a website, 
and they don't really do anything but just find this website and update its name and description so when you give when you pass in the, the correct uh, ID for it so this the uh, not not actually so this is in the website ID is equal to this the uh, uh, WID and the uh, name this is the name developer ID equal to this the UID um, description this is the description alright let me console log it let me take a look if that's correct. Updated the website. Updated the web web. So if I change this to go one, this is equal to Lorem Lorem. Click update. I'm getting an item. ID is equal to 890. 890. Uh, Developer ID equal to one two three. And the description is Lorem Lorem. Name is go one. Yeah, that's correct. Everything should be fine. So I can just call the function. This is the website service. Website right. service. The update website. Takes two stuff. Uh, it takes a website ID. So it's this the WID and takes a, a website. Updated web. Alright. So after we no, this update website should should like update our current website information and then we need to navigate user back to the website list. So we just copy this thing again here, navigate them back. Alright. So I think that's it. Let's try it. Could you go here? Let's update go to leave and lowering. Change lorem to lorem lorem. Update it. Say so it go become leave. I go back go into set again. Seeing the item here change. Change back to go and change this to the lorem. And this time we click this check here. It's work the same way. Uh, we are finished uh, the, the website edit. Okay? So the website pages and the profile user pages are all finished. Like the next pages will be uh, page pages. We'll uh, do it tomorrow. Okay, so I'll, I'll, update, I'll update my upload my code to my GitHub and update upload the video too.